That is. God. This, <laughs> that is disturbing. Disgusting. I used to do that. I did it once. It hurts, kind of. So. It just makes me tear up. Yeah. It's, the eyelash is hitting my yeah. pupil. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back. Third shoot reactions. I'm Malachi. Shane. Brianna. Angeline. We're here with a beloved show, Dragon Ball Z, Kai, episode 23. <laughs> Guys, we are filming this a couple days after Akira Toriyama passed away. And Evangeline, if you don't know who that is, he created Dragon Ball. He created, to me, one of the most important things in my childhood. He He's the reason why all these anime characters have these awesome... <sighs> uh, so Joel Embiid, I, I guess I just read something. He posted something on his Instagram about it. Really? NBA player, yeah. A anime... I'm glad he's getting recognized. Recognized. Recognition. Well, I'm glad I'm watching it with you guys because when I was a little kid, even when I was like a teenager, my friends and I, dude, Dragon Ball Z is a shit. It was, a, it was fucking awesome. But back then, it was a little more taboo to like anime. I, we kind of had to keep it a little bit of a secret. Now, like kids, now like professional clubs and stuff. Now. Yeah, now professional athletes in NBA games will have Dragon Ball Z's on their shoes. Now it's a considered cool. It's it's a loss, and I'm glad we watched with you guys. When I was a little kid, I used to go down in the woods and scream. Like Goku did to power up. Like I just, you know, he got me through some times. I'm pretty sure it was the creator of One Piece. He wrote, essentially, they're calling him Sensei. Like they keep referring to him as Sensei. I'm really ignorant of it, but I know in karate and stuff like that, you call your master who teaches you Sensei, like in Cobra Kai. But they're calling him Sensei because probably because he's kind of like the master of the craft and they're learning from him, right? But they basically talked about how tragic it was in anime in Japan in like the 70s, it was kind of considered this silly thing, right? But when he created Dragon Ball, adults and kids, people of all ages started liking it. And it was Dragon Ball Z that got out of Japan into America for my generation and it popularized Dragon Ball Z in, 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 the, in the West, for sure. And it was conjunction with Dragon Ball Z and Gundam Wing synergistically together. It was like the time of my life, coming home from school, watching Toonami, like, Kobe, Kobe Bryant affected me indescribably bad, but this is a close second. Like it, I thought about contacting friends that I, that aren't my friends anymore because I thought about them right away. Well, Kobe Bryant, really? DJ yeah, Bryant a, still affects me today. No, you're right. Kobe Bryant still affects me today, and this is going to be affecting me for a long time. But yeah, there's a couple people I started like I really, really wanted to call with some people like I haven't talked to and you know since like 2020. Dragon Ball Z is a reason why I had so many different friendships and uh, it kept me and my friends together. Anyways guys we're gonna we're gonna jump into this. I, I will briefly talk about the last episode. Episode 23. We rest uh in peace. yeah yeah rest in peace man. Hope you're in heaven seeing those pearly gates. Yeah so now he's gonna go to King Kai's planet. That's what I was thinking about. He's gonna go train with King Kai now. Um so uh yeah I'm just really sad. Like I'm really sad thinking about it. We, last episode we had Krillin and go on. Do you remember they saved that little boy, the green? Uh, yeah, yeah. And they, but his little brother, his little friend died. His little friend died. Remember that? Dende. The little boy's name is Dende. Oh yeah. And uh, you remember that big pink monster guy was chasing him? Yeah. That was the door. <laughs> you don't remember, little boy? I do. So was the creator of Dragon Ball? Was he there when Ball was being made and like overseeing everything, or did he just create it and hand it off to somebody? And so he created the manga, and then he had a lot of involvement. Because after they made it a cartoon, they said, hey, Akira, we need you to do more stuff. And then he took a break and he kind of like semi-retired. And then they came out with more Dragon Ball Super. But he came back to do Dragon Ball. And he was actually working on multiple Dragon Ball projects right now in the middle. And he died in the middle of it. So we're going to have a new Dragon Ball Z cartoon. Oh. I saw the trailer of it. It looks really cool. I I'm pretty sure he was still involved in the manga, which is a Japanese comic book. Okay. We also, you know, Master, Ch I mean Goku, he's on his way back from, he's on his way to the planet. Yeah, back to the episode, he is on his way, not back, but he's on his way to Namek. Yeah, um, well, I was thinking Master Chief for sure. And uh, we did have Vegeta and Dodoria fight. Angel, do you remember what actually happened to Vegeta's planet? It's called Planet Vegeta. Dodoria told him when they were fighting what actually happened. It blew it up. You know, who blew it up, though? Vegeta. No, not Vegeta. Frieza. And Frieza thought the Saiyans were going to get more like powerful than him. So. Exactly, exactly. Good job. So he destroyed it because he was scared. Because he knew the Saiyans could get powerful, right? Yeah. Anyways, guys, before we jump in, just so you know, we do put our reaction footage on our Patreon. It's available for everyone, though. Mm -hmm. um, but just come back here for the post-talk. Now, a lot of people want me to put it all on Patreon. I thought about doing it, but then our views on YouTube would dip, yeah. and then no one would find the show because the view would be too low. So mm -hmm. it's something that I carried over from my previous YouTube channel, and I know it's inconvenient, but it just 
how we got to do it. And if you just want to support us, just just keep watching. Thank you, guys. Please. Let's jump in. Guys, that was a reaction. This is our discussion. Okay, guys, not a huge action-packed episode in terms of, like, there's emotional punches. But there were a couple of things. Uh, first of all, what would you guys think of Vegeta in this episode? It was upsetting. He mass him, murdered, them, mass and, murdered and people. Like yeah, Hitler, like Hitler. I, I think that now that Vegeta's here, we have like a bad guy, like another one. You might think, oh, Vegeta, he's 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 gonna team up. He's gonna do this, but no, Vegeta is still a ruthless killer. He wanted to. Yeah, just, I wonder him and Goku ever become friends. I don't know. You have to watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When so, they get the dragons back, they should just say, "I want everyone who died by everyone who died by the same race to be revived." Can you say that? Yeah. Like, can you just wish once? Can you do that and say? Well, and I also want Piccolo to wake the, back up. So there are limitations to what the dragon could do. You can put more than one thing for one. Wish. You're right. So certain. Take advantage of it. Okay, but you know we had the Earth Dragon, and this is going to be the Namekian Dragon, and they're both different. And and you know. Really. So, yeah, they're both slightly. You know, they're both different. They're both different planets. Do you remember what? Uh, maybe Krillin or, or Gohan said like they wonder what the what the Demekian dragon is going to look like. They wonder if he was a different color or whatever else. Yeah. So we did find out a few things. How many older brothers did Dinner? One hundred seven. One hundred seven. Yeah. So there yeah. weren't very many Namekians left, and most of them died when there was this big climate catastrophe. No women. Yeah. Uh, so Eggs through the ha- that would be terrible. Yeah. So I, I don't even know if they so consider weird. themselves men. They just consider themselves Namekian. But they do have a. How does they do have a ma- they do have like a masculine form and a build. Wait, so they all do they still have like do they still get with each other? They what? They still have couples and stuff. Like do they uh, get the gun to Mechians? No, I don't believe so. I I think they're all they they're so all considered they're, brothers. They're one individual. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're all. All family. Yeah, so. Just like we are. Yeah, like. Crisis. Brother, brothers and sisters. Of Jesus. Nope. Yeah, just brothers, sisters of Jesus. No, but like how we're actually a family. We're blood. All the Namekians came from the great elder. Okay? So they're all literally brothers. Yes. Evangeline. So do you remember, what do the Namekians like to eat? Mm. Water. And what else? Nothing. You're right. Uh, they don't need anything. They get everything they need from water. So they just basically grow, they... They thought that they just grow vegetables, but they grow trees. Yeah, you're right. They grow trees. Why do they grow trees, Liana? They make it look beautiful. To make it look pretty. Yeah, uh, it's kind of very noble. Like they are all working. This brotherhood is all working together for the sake of the planet. And like the book from Holes, it was a pretty place, but then dried up. You're right. And then the lake doesn't help anymore. It was a desert. So. You're right. Well, it was once a lake, and then after uh, after they killed Sam, and then kissing Kate Barlow went on her murdering spree. The the, the rain. I know, but it was still. It like became. Desert. You're right. It became a desert later. The Namekians are working for the planet. They're trying to make it beautiful again. Yeah. They want to protect the Dragon Balls. They always ask, hey, why do you want to use these things for? Do you ever think, like, if you had, like, an... give it to you. Like... Yeah, what if you said, hey, I want to use it to bring so-and-so back to life? They might just give it to you. What if they just lied to the Namekians? Do you think the Namekians maybe would have... Give given to them peacefully. Maybe. Them yeah, maybe. Those uh, bad men. Bad yeah, you're right. They are... Bad men do. You're right. That's what they do. We also had a really close call with Vegeta. So Vegeta can now sense power levels without using what? The thing. He's a quick learner. What are they called? I don't know. Scouters. He's a quick learner. Yeah, I mean, he is an elite warrior. Uh, you know, n- now that Akira Toriyama isn't with us anymore, I-, I try to think about, okay, what was he thinking when he, t- 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 20 years ago, or more than 20 years ago, when he was creating this in Japan... What was going through his head, and now I'm watching it, and my kids are watching it. And people all over the world have seen it. Mm-hmm. Like, what 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 were some of the values that he wanted people to equate with? Like Vegeta. Vegeta is obviously evil, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but Goku, he's obviously good, right? Yep. Vegeta yeah. and Krillin is obviously a loyal friend, right? Yep. So it just I think some of the things that what was important to Akira Toriyama. Like when you watch his Keep art, his legacy on. I think what's important for his legacy is we watch his work, we talk about it in a respectful way, mm-hmm. and we try to think, okay, what did he want us to learn from this? Like when we watch this episode, what what, what we got to get from it? Uh, what was he thinking when he made the Namekians? Was he being funny? Okay, I'm going to make them like, they, they, they're these warriors, but they're also this planet-saving hippies, and they mm-hmm. don't need food. 
They only need water. Yeah. Evangeline, what's your biggest takeaway from the episode? Takeaway. Okay, what is the biggest thing that you, that stood out to you? That Gohan was like, there had a lot of like energies, the level, the level of energies up going high. Yeah, so they don't hear it, they, they sense it. They heard about the cave. They, well, they didn't hear it. That's cute, though. <laughs> they, they sense it. Yeah, they sense like... the energy. They, it's like it's like something inside them. They could feel it. It's like the force. Whenever they were hiding from, um, Vegeta. You, yeah. Gohan stuck out for it. Oh, so you're, you you like that he was ready to fight and he was bring brave. Yeah. Okay. No, I like that too. Gohan has come a long way. You remember because you're talking about how cute he was in the first episode. So. Uh, he was cute, but he was also just a scared little boy. And then Piccolo died for him. And, yeah. and, and, and that's, and by the way, Piccolo is Akira Toriyama's favorite character. Really? Yeah. You'll see why. I mean, I know you guys already like him. I know you said you miss Piccolo, but there's more to him. Anyways, guys, before we jump out of here, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. If you don't want to wait till next week, uh, just go there. And if not, um, see you next week on YouTube. Bye-bye.